Okay. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to fabricate uh, the body mount. If you have a build like this one, yeah, and as I told you last time, I had to fabricate uh, the same piece uh, for the right side of the body, yeah, because now it uh, holds on the body is held only from one side, and I need to do it uh, from both sides, yeah, because now, it, as you can see, it moves like this, yeah, so we don't need it. So we need to fabricate uh, the second body mount, yeah, uh, in in the same way as this one. So it's a brake line, just uh, flattened it a little bit of the hammer and drilled a couple of holes and uh, bent it to fit uh, the chassis and the body itself. Anyway, uh, now I will uh, took it off uh, the body yeah, and uh, to, will took it off the chassis and uh, try to fabricate the, the exact uh, the same piece yeah the, it will allow the body to sit perfectly yeah to be aligned perfectly. Anyway, I will uh, show you how I do it. And uh, perhaps you can do it in your build. Uh, here we go. It's the body mount from the left side, yeah. So just brake line, yeah. Flattened and bent to fit uh, the chassis. So now I will, t I will take the same 5 millimeters uh, brake line cut the piece I need and try to replicate this one as close as possible and uh, afterwards we will uh, fit it on the chassis and on the body and see how it all works okay guys uh, here is the new one and uh, it's the old one, so they are almost the same. I tried to do my best to replicate them. So what I'm going to do now is just screw them uh, to the chassis, yeah, to the body and see uh, how the body aligns, yeah. And if we need to do some adjustments. Okay, guys, uh, body is in place with uh, both brackets that hold it, yeah. They are both in place. So, in general, seats okay. But needs some, some shaming, maybe, because here we have, like, <sighs> fender edge somewhere here. And here uh, fender edge is somewhere here, yeah, so like 3 millimeters off, I believe. And uh, the reason uh, for this, uh, yeah, just a second, uh, the reason for this is um, uh, the bracket, yeah, that holds the body, it needs to be a bent like this a little bit. But no, actually, uh, that side a little bit, yeah, because as you can see here we have like this gap, yeah. I uh, hope you can see it right. And here we have much less gap, yeah? So it means that our body is a bit to the left, yeah, now. And uh, it needs to be changed a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to adjust uh, the brackets, maybe or we'll use some shims, yeah. Uh, to hold the body in place 
I mean swims between uh, frame rail and bracket, yeah. Perhaps I can use one shim here, yeah, to make it sit proper. And I believe uh, it's it for today. I will not uh, film the shim in itself, yeah. Maybe in some next videos I will show you just uh, the final result, yeah. Uh, how I uh, solved, well, let's call it, uh, this uh, little issue, yeah, with uh, body mount itself. And uh, next time, I believe we either will be building some hood uh, hinges, maybe, and some hood holder, or maybe the rear bumper, we will see. Because last reel showed that uh, rear bumper needs to be altered a little bit, yeah. And perhaps I will do something with the front one. Because actually I like it, but I think it should be reinforced a little bit. I mean, uh, we need, perhaps I will need to add some uh, piece here, yeah, I mean, to, uh, flat. Uh, straight tube here, straight tube here to reinforce it a little bit because I believe I managed to bend it from one end. I believe this one, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, yeah, and I will try to proceed with the build as soon as possible, yeah, and uh, share it, share the process and uh, results with you. Anyway, guys, uh, see you soon, bye.